Hey guys, so today is a tutorial on a, um, it's actually a makeup tutorial, um, based off of the Naked 3 palette. And if you guys didn't see my Christmas, uh, what I got for Christmas 2014, um, this was included in it. Um, and this is the makeup tutorial that I have been doing, um, since I got this palette. And I really enjoy it, so I hope you guys do too, and I will see you guys after the video. Bye! So, um, let's just get started. So, I have one eye done just to save some time in the video, so, um, yeah, I will do a close-up in a minute, but it is actually really simple. It is a really simple tutorial, but since I got it for Christmas, I have these little pods that came with it of the primer potion, and I've been using the anti-aging one because, okay, yes, I'm 13, but I actually really love this one. Like, this one, I like this one better than the, uh, original primer potion and yeah and I'm gonna put that all the way up to my brow bone so for all over the lid I'm going to be using the smaller end of the brush that they give you in the palette and I'm gonna be going in with dust so yeah so this one does leave kind of a little bit of paw, so I do lightly pull up my eye so that my eyelashes can try to um, block some of the fallout from falling onto my face and it kind of allows me to put more, a little bit more eyeshadow on than um, if you were just holding your eye right, if your eye was just right. So, yeah, and you want to make sure you get this one all the way to the crease, um, and this is the perfect color. It is a nice champagne, just as a pretty base color. That is the only time I've ever had to pull my eye, and I don't even, I wouldn't call it pulling my eye, I would just call it dragging, because I just, I don't like yank it all the way out to here um I just kind of go like that and I guess I know that, that can cause wrinkles um but I kind of had no choice for this one because I tried it before without doing that and it got all down my face ruined when I did my foundation so it didn't look great so it kind of ruined the entire look so I kind of got stuck uh, doing that with this. So next I'm going to take the color Burnout and Limit and I'm going to kind of mix them together. I forgot to mention that when you do mix Burnout and Limit, do that on the fluffier end of the brush and the bigger end of the brush. And you are going to apply this in a windshield uh, wiper motion to your crease. Why did I just do crease? Next, on the fluffy side as well, I am taking Strange. And I'm going to put that on my brow bone. And for the brow bone, you can use the fluffy side as well. And make sure you're, that your brush is um, cleaned off from using uh, Burnout and Limit, or it will uh, make your highlight orange, and that is not good. <laughs> Next, I'm taking my Wet n Wild Mega Liner, and mine is in the color Dark Brown, and um, you kind of want this to be a more neutral look, so uh, yeah, you kind of do definitely want to go with a brown eyeliner for this look, and I have a hard time doing eyeliner on camera, so I'm going to go off camera and do this, so all done with my eyeliner, so next I'm going back in with 
my Lorac uh, Cobra Mascara, which came in a pack that I got for Christmas in my Christmas haul. Um, it was the Back to Bronze, I believe, and it was like a packet that had a bunch of, um, uh, like, um, bronzy items in it, so, yeah, I love this mascara that I got, yeah, oh, oh, <laughs> oopsies, <laughs> oh, just noticed I got it up here, too, this mascara is a little thick, um, for my taste, but, um, I kind of like what it does to my lashes, so, I'm using it anyway. just not liking me in this video. So that is the completed uh, eye makeup tutorial and I hope you guys enjoyed. Here is the completed look. Um, I think it is so simple and so like sophisticated. Um, I think it can be used for many purposes. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys um, in a little bit. Kaboosh! Um, so that was my completed makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. I really like this tutorial. I think it is so simple and um, if you don't have the Naked palette you can probably find um, colors similar uh, but of course they will turn out different results but I do really love this palette. Um, I think it is a very uh, bendable uh, makeup tutorial because if you really love the Naked 3 palette and you own the Naked 3 palette you can kind of move down in the palette so you could use Burnout and then mix the uh, the next two together you can move down and make your eye look darker um, I just like sticking with the more natural tones and um, I personally don't think that extremely dark colors look good on my eyes so uh, I kind of like to stick to the lighter half of the palette, but I do really like Mugshot, I have to say that. Um, so I will see you guys in my next tutorial, and um, in my next video, I should say, not saying the next one will be a tutorial, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you guys could tell a difference with the lighting this time, um, because I used my mirror, and my I got a lighted mirror for... Christmas, so I hope you guys uh, could tell a bit of a difference with uh, the tutorial and the style of the video. So I really hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much once again for 400 subscribers, and I would just love to say uh, keep going. I really love uh, hearing from you guys in the comments. So this uh, question of the day, like I said in my last video, I'm going to be doing question of the days. This question of the day is, do you own the Naked palette? If you don't, what is your favorite eyeshadow brand or what is your favorite eyeshadow palette that you may have? If you don't wear makeup, uh, just leave me a comment down below telling me how you guys liked this video. So I will see you guys in my next tutorial and uh, stay beautiful. Bye!